Hey guys, Jinlox here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. So last time, we didn't, I mean, we did some stuff, we didn't do a whole lot. We looked for the spy, we found proof um, of who they were, delivered it. So we basically exhausted all quests in the Balmora Mages Guild. Outlander. So now we're... Um, so all that's left is basically Mage Guild quests in... Uh, Sadrith Mora, which we're trying to find someone to let an Argonian come talk to them. And uh, Edwina, who's uh, obsessed with dwarves. But I can't tell her about the dwarf in the Corpusarium for whatever reason. Uh, anyway, we made our way to the uh, Ahamusa camp, and we're basically trying to butter all of them up and then uh, figure out what's going on. We did get a quest to find a white guar that was stones that rise from the earth like four fingers. Uh, and I have found those in the past. I don't remember where they are near a forked road, which is vague. Uh, and Jack is here in my lap as well. He's busy seeking attention. So that's, uh, that's where we're at. Oh, you offer training. Fair enough. All right, let's persuade you a little bit. Bam. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. He's like, I'm not into dudes. What are you? There you go. Okay. Altmer, Argonian. Uh, yes. Okay, background. Scout and initiate of the Ashlanders. I, see, I thought he would be a Ghulakan, but maybe he's not. Boots the Apostle. Oh yeah, he did say he was a scout, didn't he? Daedra cults. Okay. Dagoth Ur. Geographic regions, ghost fence. Yeah, I want to do the, the hammer thing, right? Purely NRC Khajiit. Latest rumors. Little advice. Little secret. Maverick Gash. Mm -hmm. You're a scout. I get it. Okay, so you're not one of the Ghulakans. I assumed that you were, but maybe you are not. Presumably, he would have started with uh, a keyword that's a lead into a quest. You know, are you... You're the one in my v dr dreams and visions or whatever. <clears throat> right? Red Mountain... Red Guard, Ring of the Wind. Are you leaving, Mr. Jack? Okay. I don't know what he's doing down there, but it's all right. It's okay. The Blight Trader. Okay. You are not one of the ghoul cons. That is a little disappointing. Uh, okay, well. That's the Ashkan, so we don't want to do... There's Kasi, and we'll, we'll go talk to these dudes, too. Please, go ahead, Outlander. I'm listening. Uh-huh, you're probably not the person to talk to. Herder. That's fair. That's, you know. Yeah, I'm not even necessarily looking at what they're saying, but, um... Yeah, someone said one of the mods 
grays out stuff if you've already gotten all the information from it. But I wonder... I would assume if there's a key word... Oh, here we go. Do you come to claim the name of Nerevarine? I hope you do. I hope you come to do the deeds of the Nerevarine. We need deeds, not the name. You must speak to the wise woman, Sanamu Merpal. We are a poor, sad tribe without an Ashkan led by a wise woman. We are its Gulakans. We say this with shame, for we are as weak as helpless as children. Go to her, Outlander. Tell her you will do the deeds of a hero and save the Ahamusa. Maybe then you will have earned the name Nerevarine. Okay, so I think this lets us go talk to the Ashkan. But I'll still go to the next Gulakan anyway. Uh, but yeah, I was I was basically saying, like, do... If it's grayed out using that mod, does that mean there's no keywords there as well? Because sometimes there are. That's kind of the weird... That's kind of the weird thing, but... Yep, okay. Heard an outlander who comes to claim the name. We go to these prophecies. Where is this hero who comes to save us? Our herds, our people, our lands die. No one will help us. Who is this Nerevarine? It's a lot of pressure. You know, and it's like... There's a difference between these people that can't help themselves and there's being able to help yourself and there's not being able to help yourself. You know what I mean? If you can help yourself and don't, why should I help you? Okay, you are Loxley. We've heard some say you're the Nerevarine. For a long time, the Ashlanders have heard of the Nerevarine prophecies. Perhaps you would say the Ahamusa are bitter, but talk gives us no comfort. It's understandable. I mean, you got your backs against the wall, basically. Okay. All right. Imperial Khajiit. All right, Liz Rumors. Secret Morrowind, more lore, traitor. All right, here we go. We're starting to get to the... Speak to the wise woman, Sinamu. Tell her you'll find a safe place for the Ahamusa. This is what I would wish to hear from the one who wants to be named Nerevarine. Interesting. You'll find a safe place. That's an interesting thing, like help them move. Or find a place they can move to. Yeah, because... That's a hard one. You must forgive us. Perhaps these are great days. Perhaps the prophecies are fulfilled. But to the Ahamusa, all we know is that hunger and disease stalks us, and monsters prey upon us. A hero reborn may be a wonderful thing, but it means little to us unless we have a safe place. Yeah. No, I understand. You know. It's like, oh, there's a hero. It's like, are, are you going to do anything then? I mean... You know, we're starving to death, so unless you can help, I don't care, basically, right? No, no, you don't understand, starving person. How wonderful. Starbucks ran out of oat milk for my coffee today. If you have come to steal, we have nothing, Outlander. If you have come to fight, then kill us and be done with it. But if you are the Nerevarine, please find a safe place for the Ahamusa. Did I get that before and not... Is there cat hair on my mouse now? Is that why it's... Nope, not at the moment. Alright, so yeah, we'll, we'll go down the list. Yep. We are the Ahamusa, and we will be the last of the Ahamusa if we do not find a safe place. The blight kills our game, our herds, our hunters and herders. We cannot protect ourselves from the blight sick animals or blight monsters. If you can help us, please speak to our wise woman. Yeah, that's uh That's harsh. Hmm. All right, so they basically told us we need to talk to her. She's going to want us to find a safe place, which is fine. Jeet.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Kustashbi. I can't even tell, like, where I've been and where I haven't been. You know what I mean? Because it all, they're all starting to sound the same. Okay. Look, it's just not the crops and herds. The blight storms are making everyone sick. It's not an easy cure, even for a temple, and all they've got in the backcountry is the odd healer and pilgrim shrine. That would be an interesting quest. Build a shrine that these people can go to when they're sick. I mean, that would actually make a lot of sense for the temple. The temple quests go build shrines and charge them somehow. Okay, speak to the wise woman. She is our leader. Never in prophecies. Please, do not speak to me about prophecies. We need help right now. Yeah, I get you. Okay, tell me about the safe place. We need a place to go where our herds and people can be safe from the blight and blight monsters. For us, it is a matter of life and death. We hope some happy day the Nerevarine of Prophecy will defeat Dagothar and cast down the false gods, and the blight will be gone, and there will be no more sick animals or monsters, and we can live here in peace. But if we do not find a safe place now, we will not survive to see that happy day. Okay. We will talk to them. Okay. All right, so... Speak to the wise woman. I will... To tell her I will find a safe place for the Ahamusa. Okay, talk to the wise woman. Do the deeds of a hero and save them. Yep. I don't know where to begin. Okay, well, here's the Ashkan. There is no Ashkan. Okay, well. I mean, that makes sense. So the wise woman's yurt is here. Right, and that's the one we talked to before. You know, I noticed they have all these beds, but I don't understand why. There's someone watching me. I can tell. It is I. It is I. Okay. Somehow, because this is episode 198 or 9, I used to be a bunch ahead and now I'm somehow behind and I don't understand how, but it's okay. Oh, interesting. She has a different outfit. I've heard about of an outlander who seeks to fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies and to be named Nerevarine. Are you that outlander? Oh, God. There we go. That's a little better. Here, how about... How about some money, too? Because, you know... Alright, first... I guess we could ask about arranging a meeting now. It probably is not dependent upon... being named the Nerevarine or not. That's what I would expect. Uh, Ahamusa Camp... I will not meet with this Argonian. I might send my apprentice, Minabibi, for it is time she saw how you foreigners lived and left her childish notions behind her. She is in the Favel tomb. Strange. Okay, well, we'll ask. We are the Ahamusa Ashlanders. We are people of peace, gentle people. We heard our guar and trouble no one, but things are very bad for us now. Very bad. Soul sickness, blight storms, blight sick animals, blight monsters come down from Red Mountain. Killer men eat our herds, bring disease and famine. We have no Ashkan, and our Gulakans are feeble warriors. Things are very bad for us. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Okay, tell me about these childish notions. Mina Bibi does not respect our ways. She is like a sister to every foreigner who visits our camp. Our fear she will not make a good wise woman. 
Huh. And you think what? That when she sees how people on the outside live, that they'll... What if she doesn't come back? Dig out her disturbing dreams. Favel tomb. It is west of our camp. Go west along the coast, past the ruins. If you reach the Ashlands, turn back. Outcasts from our tribe live nearby. They are dangerous. Avoid them if you can. They're not that dangerous. They're weak. They are weak. You're the prophecies prophesied one. Strange times. When will you go to Red Mountain to face the devil dig out there? Or when you go, you go with their blessing. I know I've read that before, but... Let's see. Morrowind, Morrowind lore. Okay. Nera Vereen. I know the prophecies. I know an outlander, clan friend of the Urshulaku, has done great deeds and claims to fulfill those prophecies. Are you that outlander? And why are you here? Um... Should I ask who first? I, I guess I'll ask who first. I mean, I already know they don't have one, but... You know, let's ask. And then, because this is like straight to the point, and this is more like what is the proper... This is how I'm interpreting it. This is the proper order of, you know, I need to give proper respect. The Ahamusa have no Ashkan. I am the wise woman of the Ahamusa, and I speak for the tribe. I will examine your proofs, and you will tell me your story. And if I am satisfied according to the custom and with reference to the prophecies, I will name you Ahamusa Nerevarine. But there will be a price. The Ahamusa need a safe place, and you will provide that safe place. I understand. I will do what I can. Perhaps you're that outlander, perhaps not. Ooh, we got, ooh, we got new words. Okay. The ordinators, the priest soldiers of the temple have the duty of keeping worshippers from restoring the old Daedric sites scattered throughout the wastelands and along the rocky coast and islands of Vardenfell. Now these ordinators are busy elsewhere and the old Daedric sites are coming back to life. Some traders report a ship carrying a few ordinators has sailed from Molag Mar for old Daedroth, but my timid scouts won't dare approach the island. What is it you wanna what is it you want me to do? For thousands of years the temple kept these ancient shrines closed, but in recent years, as Dagoth Ur grew stronger and the temple weaker, there were fewer and fewer priest soldiers, and they were all sent to Ghostgate. Now the temple can't keep the witches and warlocks of the Daedra cults from bringing the old shrines back to life. Yeah, that's really bad. The Old Daedroth Daedric site is a shrine to Sheogorath, the Mad Lord. The surface ruins are on an island a great distance north, as the racer flies. Oh, I see. As the racer flies. I hate those things. Red Mountain? Uh, yes. Tell me about the safe place. In seasons past when threatened, the Ahamusa could take shelter in the ruins of Old Daedroth. Ah. But now the priestess... Lirani Indavel has come and restored the Daedric Shrine, and worshippers of Shiogorath dwell there, protected by terrible sorceries and summonings. First, you will go to Ald Daedroth and make it safe for the Ahamusa. Then you will return, and I will accompany you there, and if Ald Daedroth is a safe place for my people, then I will name you Nerevarine. Okay, so not only do you have to go and kill everything there, you have to protect her on the way. Um, okay. All I know is that she is a Dunmer, and she and her followers have defied the temple's ban against the worship of the four corners of the House of Troubles, the four Daedra lords, Mehrunes, Dagon, Molag Bal, Malakath, and Sheogorath. Since so many ordinators are busy fighting the hosts of Dagoth Ur at Ghostgate, many of the abandoned Daedric sites are once again inhabited. Tell me about making it safe. First you will go to Al Daedroth, you will make it safe for the Ahamusa, you are the hero. You decide what must be done. We are not traitors to haggle over the meaning of safe. 
We are not a warlike people. We are not strong with warriors and witch wizards. Make all Daedroth safe for us. Then when I accompany you to all Daedroth, then you and I will judge whether it is safe. I see. She's like, you're the one that has to decide what's safe. When you're sure Aldadroth is safe, then you will return here to me, then I will accompany you, and together we will cross the water to Aldadroth. If I may pass in safety to the old sanctuary and see the great statue in the inner shrine, then the place is safe for my people. I have not the arts of war, but I have courage. I wager my life against the safety of my people. That's... that is courage. But if all Daedroth is not safe, if I die on my journey, remember, if I die, you will not be named Ahamusa Nerevereen. Let's see. I'm not the arts of war, but I'm a wise woman, not without power. I can walk upon the water, perhaps not so fast as a great witch warrior, but fast enough. And while we are on our water journey, if you are a hero, you'll protect me from slaughterfish and other creatures. And if you are not, I shall perish, and you shall not be named Nerevereen. Can fish attack you while you're walking on the water? I guess so. They could bite at your feet. And your ankles, because they can come out of the water a little bit. It's not like a barrier, you know? All right, so this is this is interesting. They're basically like, I'm weak. You have to decide what's safe. We're not warriors. We can't decide. You make it safe from, for us, and we go there. And then if we die, if I die, you're hosed. It's like, oh, okay. It's like, don't take it lightly. Okay, well. Uh, let's see. For those who serve Shiogorath the Mad Lord, there is no good or evil, right or wrong. Making sure I know where the kitties are. True or false, real or unreal. That sounds a lot like today. For them, there is only what they want and what they see. With such carelessness, only the very strong and very lucky cultists survive, while the weak provide sport and amusement for the others. And the spawn of Shiogorath are never twice the same and each more terrible than the next. It is an evil cult and dangerous. Yeah, true people these days are like, oh, I'm mentally ill, ha ha ha, I'm so, I'm so unique, lol. But it's like, no, no, no. True mental illness is crippling. It is terrifying. Okay. This one honors us. Please speak. Okay. Well. Indeed. Uh. Daedra skin. Hmm. All right. Well, that is. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, she might consider sending her apprentice to speak with Skink and Tree's Shade. The apprentice is currently in the Favel Ancestral Tomb, which is west of the Ahmusa camp. I should follow the coast west from the camp, past the Daedric Ruins until I see a cavern. If I reach the Ashlands, I have gone too far. Uh, let's see. She will name me, but first I need to go to the Daedric Shrine at Aldadroth to make it safe for Ahamusa. When I've made Aldadroth safe, then return, and then she'll accompany me. When there's... Sh and then, okay, if she's safe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I must go there and see for myself what must be done. She's an old woman, weak and vulnerable. If she must accompany me there, it must be very safe or she'll be killed. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely worth, like, swimming across and fighting everything, you know? Okay. All right. Um, oh, that's the wrong button. The... Meeting with a wise woman. Let's... I kind of want to do that one. Should I put a mark here? I think that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Mark ring. Okay. Mark set. Well, let's see if we can find this guar first. Where, uh... 
Uh, where is it? Dreams of a white guar. Okay. Oh, that was it. The tax man thing. That's what I was going to look at my phone about. Um, all right. Well, we'll go. We'll go west. We'll see if we can find these roads. They've gotta be somewhere, you know? Let's save. Yeah, I'm, uh. I don't have my phone because it was starting to blow up earlier, and I was just like, it's work, and I'm. I'm tired. Tired of work. I'm tired of dealing with work. You know, I saw a couple things where they were basically... I saw the first couple texts. And they're like, someone called in sick. Oh, we have an egg mine. Oh, and I guess that's a road. Um... But that's the thing, it's like, this is my first weekend... My first full weekend off in maybe a month. And they wanted me to work yesterday. And then they're freaking out today because someone called in sick and it's like... I'm tired. I'm tired of it. You know, I'm sorry you can't run your... What is that? Oh, that's one of those... And that's a Nyx Hound, I guess? And who is this? It's like, I'm sorry you can't run your... your, your place very well. Because that's the problem. They let... Uh, like yesterday, they let Doctor... And, and last weekend. They let Doctors add on... Like, we're the emergency team, so we're not supposed to be used for routine cases, but it's not just routine cases they're doing. Is there something you need? Uh, it's... it's complex stuff, so they're like, well, we need a second team then. It's like... We only have two teams. So you basically want me to work all the time. And so I just... I just left my phone in there. I'm like, it's starting to go off, I'm... They can deal with that crap. You know, I'm, I'm tired. It's like... It kind of makes me angry, because it's like, I want to help, but you're taking advantage of me, and you're doing it through your poor planning. It's like a person... It's like a person that's terrible with money, that constantly is asking to borrow money. They're like, I can't pay my bills this month, and it's like, you just got paid. Well, well, yeah, but I had to spend it on cigarettes. It's like, well, maybe you should have spent it on your bills. Sucks to be you. That's, that's kind of how I feel. It's like... So, I don't know, it, it's frustrating. That's one of the reasons I'm hopefully going somewhere else. It's still I'm still waiting on the paperwork to go through, but yeah. Let's see. Stranger, yes, you. Please, can you help me? I've been attacked by a couple of bastard Ashlanders who robbed me and left me for dead. I know them anywhere. They look kind of like normal dark, el dark elves, but wild. They wore animal skins and had tattoos, and they had odd hair. This should be easy to spot, friend. It's no surprise they robbed me. Yes, the bastard Enwas nearly killed me, and they took my entire shipment of guar hides. It's easy to tell they're mine. They have my damn mark on them. Look, if you can help me get those hides back and kill the fetchers who stole them, I promise you an excellent reward. Although I have nothing left since I was attacked, my friend Berwin and Telmora will be more, most generous. I promise you. What do you say? I'll see if I can find your hides. Excellent. Go get those bastard Ashlanders. I promise when you get those hides back to me, Berwin will be very generous. She has a stake in this trade, after all. And we can't let an unwarranted attack on a Gwar hide trader ruin business. That's what happened, all right. Fetchers, all of them. Uh, where? Where are they? Oh, it was those damned Ashlanders, I tell you. Took my Guar hides. I'll teach them to steal Athen Gareth's Guar hides. Good luck finding them, friend. My entire business depends on getting those back. Alright. Um, well. We'll probably find them along the road, I guess. 
There's the white guar. What do we do with it? Wait, did I say it before I talk to this dude? Yeah, okay, we're good then. Uh, excuse me, sir. Your journal has been updated. Okay, I found the white guar. Once I got in range of it, it immediately began to move west. It is going west. I will... I guess I'll just follow it. Please, don't let it get bugged. And don't let it get attacked. That was really close, actually. Oh, we got Kagudi and stuff. Do I... Right, I remember going through these fields and getting all the wickwheat and stuff. Kushtashpi. Alright. West. Senate? Maybe. If something runs up to us, I'm gonna have to chop it real good with my axe. Oh. Well, this is... Okay. Your journal has been updated. The guar has led me to a cluster of rocks and trees. Here, I found the corpse of a woman who looks like she was once a healer. That's not good. Uh, amulet of Ashumanu. Cure blight disease on self and restore. Alright, I assume I'm supposed to bring this back to her. I tried clicking on the guar. Nothing. All right, um... Well, all right, hang on, don't, uh... Don't go anywhere, okay? Hopefully that's it. Hopefully we just have the, uh... Hopefully we just need the, um... This amulet. Yeah, the work thing is just kind of frustrating. That's all. It's like, come on, man. It's it's one thing to do, you know, emergency stuff. Like, that's part of the job. But it's another one they're like, oh, hey, the doctor wants to work. They don't want to, you know, they want to call you in on the weekends. It's like, oh, hey, we need to stay late. Why? Just because. Like, that's, that's the thing, right? I took, I think, three days off last week, and they only used uh, enough PTO, like a day's worth, basically. So I effectively worked two full days, either by staying late or on the I weekends or whatever. You. We welcome you freely, Tell me what you have found, you who have seen... In my visions, have you found the white guar? I've seen your journey in a vision. I know what the white guar led you to, and I know who she was. In my vision, I saw you were led to the corpse of Ashumanu. She was a healer many, many years ago. She gave her own life to save the lives of others. It is said that she will give her life again and again, so that others may live through her sacrifice. You have witnessed a miracle, my child. You now hold the amulet of Ashumanu. Yeah, but, I mean, do you want it? Thank you, child. This amulet would be the salvation of my people. Take this in return. It is a shield of legend among my people, the shield of the undaunted. Use it and you'll feel the strength return to weary limbs. Travel well, friend. Yep, Ashumanu removed. Shield of the undaunted has been added. That's nice. That's actually a really nice little quest. Ashumanu believes the amulet will allow her to cure her people of the disease that has plagued them. I think it will. It says it cures blight. And it heals. Gratitude, she gave me the Shield of the Undaunted, which is apparently a local legend. Uh, she seemed aware that I found the Guar and where it led me. She also knew of the amulet I found in the corpse, called the Amulet of Ashimanu. Alright, cool. So, what's the shield? 
restore fatigue. 10 to 30 points. It's fine. It's, what is my... Yeah. Okay, so it's basically the same thing as the Amulet of Stamina, just in a in a shield. That's okay. I'll probably sell this. I mean, I, I appreciate it, but it's not it's not super great. All right, let's see if we can find the dude's guar hides. I was gonna say shirts, but that's not right. Oh, my old friend, the Cliff Racer, and multiple Cliff Racers, of course. Azura's... Azura's Coast? Wait, is this whole thing Azura's Coast? I thought Azura's Coast was down here. Maybe the... Okay... Uh... Skating Isles... Ashlands... Azura's Coast! North and East are called Azura's Coast. Okay. So then... Far Southeast Shores of Azura's Coast near the Shrine of Azura. So... It, yeah, so it's... Uh, so it is probably over here in Tel Bernora area. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or we won't. Mud crab. You will die. Ustashbi. Yep. Man, I'm hungry. I just ate too. I mean, I ate, uh, well, I mean, I had a, a banana and some Vienna sausages, so. I haven't had Vienna sausages in forever, and I mean, I know they're terrible. They're basically hot dogs. What is, what is that? What am I looking at here? Oh, weird. Oh, uh, we got... Of course. Listen, you. Maybe, uh... How about a little of this? Oh! Oh, you knocked me down. Good job. Do I want to, uh... Nah. I was like, do I want to soul trap you? But no. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh, another one. Oh, crap. I got poisoned. Am I getting attacked by something else? I was a hell of a bulge there for a second. I was like, God damn. <laughs> Not into dudes, but, uh... You know, you always want to check out the competition, I suppose. May as well. I bet I've killed these dudes. You think this is the same ones? Hmm. Crap, if they had the guar hides and I got rid of them. No, because it would be marked. It would be so-and-so's guar hides, right? Oh, there's the Favel Ancestral Tomb. Okay. So... Hmm. 
where... Let's see. Alright, the dude... I mean, he was somewhere over here, I think. Narano. That's where I fought the vampire, I think. What is that? Kagudi? Hey, buddy! Lots of lightning. Okay. Tell Voss. Yeah. I'm curious about that one. Like an actual dungeon. Never went that way. Never followed the road. Ah, uh, we got beetles. Uh, let's try... Got an alit over there. Okay, well... Mother truckers took my war hides. And I don't remember. Oh, there's an Ogrim. What is that? Oh, crap. Not that. Oh, that's Telvas. Oh, we got Beetle coming in, too. And a Kagooty right there. Huh. But it's like, uh... Okay, tell boss. Oh, that's not the right. All right, well, there's a Nyx Hound. Is it friendly or, or, well, I guess it doesn't attack NPCs. Yeah, it's weird. It's like a, a fort mixed with the Telvani mushroom style, you know? It's pretty awesome, actually. The mushroom style. Well, and what is that? That's gotta be Voss. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, should we go to that one, uh, the ancestral tomb? I don't know. I wanted to find the... Ah, oh, see, even it's falling. Well, I guess if I see some Ashlanders and I come across the, uh... across the old uh, guara hides, then I'm like, oh, I know there was a dude looking for these. Okay, it's... We got a rat to my left. Ooh. 
random rocks. Was it not the rat? Hmm. Well, okay. I bet it's a shulk. Where did you come from? Well, that was the one. That was the one. It's funny, right? I... The whole, uh... Quest of like, oh, send my... Is that the white war? We don't want to do anything with that. I assume that's going to stay there. Yeah, it's looking at her. That's too bad. But at least, you know, she can cure her people now. That's key. Wow, the rain is loud. What's attacking us? No. Okay. Where? Oh. Alright, where's my cure other spell? Uh, hmm. My god. Um... Oh, heal companion. Here we go. Is that good? I don't know. I think that's a success. It doesn't have a life bar, I don't think. I hope it's... I hope it's unkillable. That would be good. the right one. It's that one. North. Hop the fence. F the police. Well, hang on. Oh, that's probably... Maybe these robbers are in a cave. You know? I was like, ooh, a, a flame. Maybe that's where the robbers are. No, that's... I mean, it's... Maybe they were there. Okay, let's just make sure this is the... Uh, Favel Ancestral Tomb. Yep. What about that uh, turn undead? Okay, we are almost out of time. Hey there, crazy lady. I hear something. Well, anyway. I guess we could stop here. Uh, yeah, all right. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. 
As always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, better, and different. Let me hear them. I do try and read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them as well. Um, what is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, I guess it's the fact that I'm not working. It's funny, because thinking about it, I'm probably the only one that, that can. Because there's only a couple of us that do what I do, and I suspect the one that called out is the one that does what I do. And the other guy is... Uh, doing some stuff today. He has like a bike ride, like a 60 mile bicycle ride, which is crazy. Um, or, or a race or something. And, uh, but it's weird because they were very, at least in the first couple texts, it was very passive aggressive. They're like, oh, someone called out, so we need someone to come in. But they didn't specify me, and it was like a group text. And that's part of why I was like, I'm not dealing with it. Set it aside, put my phone over there, and then I'm... You know, every once in a while I'll hear it, I'll look at the phone, it'll be like, 30 minutes since the last text. I was like, wait, that was... The previous one was 30 minutes, or, you know, so they're still texting. It's been four or five hours, and they're still going for it. It's like, well, I don't know what to tell you. You know? Don't abuse me, I guess. <laughs> like, like when I'm off work, I'm not obligated to be by the phone. We do have call. You know, I take plenty of call when I'm there for emergencies. It's like, you know, stop coming to me with your hand out if you want me to give you something. But they don't. They don't see it that way. They're like, it's not me. It's not my fault. It's the. It's the doctors that put it on. It's like you're the one that approves it, though. Well, well, yeah. Well, there you go. So, yeah, I'm just glad I'm off. I don't... I don't feel guilty. It's, I'm not the one in charge. I am not the one enabling this mess. But, uh... I'm just angry that they're sort of... abusing... you know, my goodwill and the goodwill of others and taking advantage of us. That's That's not good. Like I said, it's just like constantly asking to borrow money when you blow all your money on alcohol and cigarettes. But I need to pay my bills. That's that sucks. Suck some dick under a under a highway for a few bucks here and there to pay for your bills. That'll change your priorities real quick, I would imagine. You know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's that's my unique positive moment. Uh, hopefully your guys just as good, if not better, hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. So then, guys, take care. <laughs>